So hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I am using my microphone again so we'll just see how this goes. I hope it's okay. I don't know if it's loud enough. I don't understand things. I will be looking into it anyway. But for now um, I just uploaded my last vlog so if you haven't seen my vlogs previous to this first go check them out. This is for the whatever a ton, whatever you want a ton. Um, which is a readathon that um, Maddie from Books Browsing Blog is hosting and um, I've been loving it so far. I will update you with my stats at the moment. I totally forget like where I am like stats wise basically you can get points for what you read. I think I'll go through that um, definitely this week because this might be my final vlog I think for this. I'm not too sure we have just over a week left and there's still some stuff I want to get read but anyway um when I was last talking to you in my last vlog I was reading Heartstopper volume 4 which I was super super excited about so this is by Alice Oseman and it's basically about Nick and Charlie who are friends and um maybe they want to be a bit more and it's just basically um about their friendship and relationship and stuff like that it is queer um, romance which is not usually, romance is not usually something that I go towards at all but because um, it's a graphic novel that was kind of the reason why I picked it up in the first place and it ended up being one of my favourite series um, of graphic novels of all time. It's so good, it's so, it's so wholesome but it is hard hitting at the same time. There is some like I would say there's some content warnings in this. Um, it says it actually on the front which was very interesting um just letting you know that there's certain things in this that you know might trigger some people but for me um I just I just really loved it um I love the the style of the art um it's amazing I just love the story um volume four was amazing as well as the other ones and I think the next one might be the final one I don't know what we're gonna do when it ends so yeah this was five stars and it covered a good few prompts I can't remember exactly but I know that it looks like a pride flag um I'm not too sure if it's the um bisexual flag it might be I think it is and um, it just covered some other ones as well, like five star protection and stuff like that. But I have gotten them already. Well, I can get them again for this, but um, it was the pride flag one that I hadn't really gotten. So I'm glad to have gotten that one. And um, yeah, I can't really say much more because, you know, again, it will be spoiling. But I do think if you're somebody who doesn't really know what to do with graphic novels or how to get into them, I would highly recommend Heartstopper. Um, then I read Battle Royale. This is volume um, two and this has volumes four to six. So this is like an ultimate edition. This is like a, a compilation of um, four to six. Um, I can't get the next like ultimate edition because like I was telling you in my last vlog, they're actually really um, sought after. And this is from the library and the next one just doesn't seem to be available. So I will be getting them um, to the smaller volumes from now on, I think. But we're talking about this one for this month. Um, this was just really amazing. I mean, could it have been anything else really? Um, I absolutely love the Battle Royale mangas. They're my favourite of all of the battle royale kind of media because like there's been a book there's been a film but it's the mangas that I think are the ones that really like they're really really good so five stars for this as well I mean I'm hitting all the five stars but I'm reading the right stuff as well like I knew I was going to love these if that makes sense um like there was a time in this when I was reading it and I was just like this is so good like the, it, you know when you're just like I don't know it's like good for your brain it's like yes my brain is really loving this that's what it was like and um the artwork in this I just wish I could show it but I feel like it would spoil it you know but the artwork is absolutely amazing like there's just certain scenes that are incredible like um I think I can get I can show this um but there is certain scenes like the artwork is just amazing. I know it probably doesn't look like anything, but all together it looks incredible. 
and um, the violence in this, the gore in this is something serious. And of course, I loved it, every bit of it, like the gore and everything in it is so good. I'm just going past some of it and I'm like, oh my God, remember that, yeah. Um, I think if you're not able to handle gore, I I wouldn't <laughs> go near it, but I can, I love it. I want all of the gore in it. Um, then there is like a quite a lot of content that um, if you find anything triggering, maybe look it up because there's just so much violence in this. There's just everything you can imagine. So I read both of them one after the other and then I really, um, I think in my last vlog you heard, sorry if you hear him barking, there's people. Um, in my last vlog about not feeling good, I'm still not feeling good, I feel really bad today. But um, I was basically just, I had to lie in bed yesterday and I was like, what am I gonna do? I just felt so bad and I, couldn't really sleep but I had my phone and on my phone I have the Kindle app and I had downloaded a graphic novel comic thing called The Wicked and the Divine so this is the first volume and um, I had downloaded it on my Kindle I um, didn't really know much about it other than there's gods in it and um, I wanted to read it on my iPad originally because you know just to see the pictures up big and everything like that um but I just decided to read it on my phone and um oh my god this was an amazing comic the art in this is absolutely beautiful it was so pretty so I think I actually will probably read it again just through on my iPad just to have a look at it um some of the imagery up big because it was just so pretty um it was I, I loved this. Um, I give it four stars and the reason why I kind of put it down a star was it was confusing at times. I wasn't too sure what was supposed to be happening. Like I understand maybe as I progress with the series, which I will definitely be picking up the other volumes, um, maybe then I'll understand the story a bit more, but it did kind of flick from one place to another very um, quickly and I, I just didn't know what was happening sometimes or when certain things were supposed to be happening. It was very odd. But the characters in this are absolutely amazing. They're all different gods. It reminded me an awful lot of um, uh, the Sandman series, um, which is one of my all time favorite series. And um, yeah, I just, I really loved it. I really loved it. I gave it four stars. I think um, I will definitely be continuing with that. I've ordered the next one at the library, so I don't know when I'm gonna get it. It mightn't be for this. Um, like I didn't, I wasn't planning on reading it for this or anything like that. I just need, I needed a distraction, and that was it. And um, yeah, it just ended up being really, really awesome, and I highly recommend it. That is all from me now. I will be reading this next. So, The House of the Cerulean Sea is a very, very popular book right now by um tj clune um i there has been some kind of controversy surrounding him and that i would advise to look it up and to get the opinion of some indigenous um people and book reviewers um i am in the mind of um i'm going to read it anyway because i had it bought if that makes sense and there was an amazing um video from a creator a book instagrammer on instagram and i would try and find it and i'll link it below for you um just for kind of context and for her side of things as an indigenous person anyway the house of the cerulean sea is to do with a house at the cerulean sea and i think it's in like a an orphanage where there's all of these different type of children and they're all diff magically different i think it is and there's a journalist who is going to that house and I think he wants to write, like he's supposed to write something negative towards it or something like that. I'm totally, I'm. this is totally guessing this. I didn't even read the blurb. So um, I think that's what it's about. And I think um, it's supposed to be really lovely and wholesome and kind of everything like that. So um, this book is very close to perfect is one of the quotes and one of the quotes is from Shanann Maguire who we all know um for the series that I'm reading which is the Wayward Children series 
so um I am very excited to read it but I'm also a bit annoyed right so we put aside the controversy thing um I'm going to read it anyway because I own it so basically when this book came out for anyone who doesn't know it got insanely popular everyone really loved it and this was kind of the height of COVID times and um it was hard to get it sold out I came back then finally and um, I kind of fell for the hype of it. I was like, okay, I really want to get this. I feel like I'm going to really love it. So um, I'm going to buy the hardback and I bought it for like 20 euro on Boot Depository. But when I got it, I was a bit disappointed and that's why I didn't read it straight away. When I took it out and I felt it, something just fell off, you know, compared to other books that I have. And then I was kind of looking at it and I noticed, so the spine's not on properly. The Now, I probably can fix this myself if I, you know, remove the dust jacket and fix it. But it's off center by quite a lot. Like, it's not right anyway. And then I opened it and the pages are so thin and... They don't feel good. Now, I'm not... I'm not one for... Commenting on... The make of a book. I don't even know what you would call it. Um, because I know nothing about how you make books. I know nothing about publishers. I know nothing about all of that. I don't know what type of paper this is. Like, I don't know how it's bound. I know nothing other than when I picked this up... It didn't feel good and I'm wondering was it a case of to very quickly they needed to source somebody to um, print it for them and they just went for someone cheap or what it is I don't know but it's it's the pages are very see-through and I don't know if you'll be able to see it can you yeah oh look you can see now pages are see-through anyway but like this is like just a little bit more if that makes sense like, I don't mind see-through pages. Like, I'm pretty sure every book is is a somewhat see-through. But this was like, okay, that's really see-through. And the pages do not feel nice. Um, I am a bit weird about paper, I will say. I did always had that thing about paper, even since I was a kid. I find paper sometimes it can be very upsetting for me, <laughs> the feel of it. But look um I just was annoyed that I paid 20 euro if you're buying the um hardback edition on book depository maybe try somewhere else or maybe wait till it's like on offer down a bit and don't get one that's like off center and stuff so that basically I I was so annoyed with it that I left it down and I never read it but that means I can read it for this readathon now I'm going to read this and then in two days I am going to check my poll that I have up on my vlog and I'm going to see which book then I will be reading for the end of this. So I'm giving myself some time. I have a week and a bit left. So I hope that's enough time because I have to factor in that I won't be reading every day or I might be unwell. But I, I feel like it's doable. Like this, I don't think it's too hard to read. People are reading it very quick. It has just nearly 400 pages, I think. I feel if I start it today and I get a good chunk read, I'll be away with it. I think that this has LGBTQ plus representation. I think that um, there is some pride flag with this colour. Um, I have to check some other prompts as well because I do want to try and get a bingo on them prompts. That's the whole point of the prompts, I think. It's, it's like bingo, isn't it? You're to try and get a few. But I was trying to kind of hit them all. But I, I decided halfway through, nah, I'll just get ones that I can get. We will see. My prediction for this is also five stars. Um, yeah, I it will be interesting to see where I end up with it. Some most people love it so much, like I mean so much, and then there's others who didn't really like it that much. So basically, for me, my expectations are high for this. I can't find the perfect word there, but um, because I got so annoyed with the quality of the book. My expectations have gone down a bit. So I think that's kind of good. So I might enjoy it more. There was a dog. Someone driving by every now and again. And the dog like must be barking out the window. I don't know if you could, if my microphone picked that up. But it's so funny. They just drive by and you hear the dog barking the whole way up. <laughs> um, anyway. 
I'm going to read this and I'm going to stop talking because I'm sore, I'm tired and I need to sit and read for the rest of the day and basically that's all I'm going to be doing for today. Um, I will update you obviously to let you know whether I'm liking it or not. I'm also going to be going to the library tomorrow again. Um, I'm just, oh my god, the library. Yeah, I love it so much. I'm so glad it's open again and I can get all the books that I want because... I don't know how people are able to be buying books all of the time. I don't know. And I feel like for me, if I bought them, I'd hit on so many I don't like because that keeps happening to me. But um, yeah. Anyway. So here in Ireland, um, oh God, don't fall. Oh, don't fall. Um, the post on post, so that's our postal service, um, have been doing some pride stuff. So online you could buy these stamps. And they have Pride and Broad, which is um, Pride in Irish. And um, I thought they were really cute. You can buy them on their website. And this little pin as well. Just to support Pride and all of the money um, goes to some... It goes to some Pride charity thing. And I totally forget what one it is. I'll just see if it's written here. Just says Ireland's Pride Movement, but I'm not too sure. I just know that some, if not all of the money is going um to that. And um I will put up on screen details or whatever. And I'll link below for anyone who wants to buy them. I'm I'm not sure if it's just Ireland. Um but this also came in the post. And I think this is just like sent to everyone. Um it's just about Pride and that it's available to buy but I actually found out from um, someone I follow on Instagram Sharon so thank you so much for posting about it but this you can put it on your door which I thought was pretty cool it's a good idea like um, you can see they have the picture there so I think that's what I'll do I think I'll put it on our front door and um, then I have my little stamps to use for whenever and my little pin which I'll take out for the thing now but um yeah, I'm only up, that's why I sound so weird. And why my brain didn't really go through that very well, but there you are. <laughs> I put the thing on the door outside, so I'll show you that in a bit. I'm only up, I'm not up long at all, and so last night was a bit of an event. <laughs> um, I showered last night and then afterwards um, I got a panic attack, or what I'm sure was a panic attack. Um, only there was nothing really to set it off. I didn't feel particularly more anxious than I usually feel or anything like that. I don't know where it came from. But that exhausted me last night. So I pretty much went to bed straight after that to try and like relax myself and everything like that. And I slept good and everything like that. So at least um, I got some sleep. But I'm up now anyway. And I think Steve is in town for a bit. He had to go into work to sign something or I don't know what he's talking about. I was half asleep. <laughs> so I'm up now anyway. The reason why I'm giving an update is that um, I didn't get read as much as I wanted to get read last night. I stopped recording by accident. Um, I didn't get read as much as I wanted to. Um, but I am reading... Um, the house in the cerulean sea i keep wanting to say the house at the cerulean sea but it's in the cerulean sea so i got a bit red as you can see just that very little bit and i'm gonna read a bit more now while i'm here um just kind of waking up and stuff you know and i will update so far it's it's good um it's like it's got that feel to it i don't i don't know how to explain but you know when you're reading those type of, I don't know, fantasy, not fantasy, oh, kind of, these certain books. Like, you know when you read Harry Potter, there's a certain feel to them or a certain way that they're written. That's what it feels like. I have no words other to, than that to explain it. But yeah, I'm just going to continue now anyway. So hey everyone, it is, I don't even know what day it is today. 
it's the 25th so it's Friday um, basically I'm filming in here because I just wanted to be a bit more comfortable sitting on the couch um, but I haven't been super well um, you know I'm a broken record at this point Con constantly <laughs> constantly saying that but um, I have not been good just at all my anxiety I suffer from anxiety that's always just kind of a certain general kind of level but it has kind of gotten heightened over the last while well the last week let's say a couple of days ago I had a pretty bad panic attack for whatever reason it just happened I don't I like I don't know what really made it but since then my anxiety has just been so high um it's been very difficult to do things or anything but um i said i would update because i did read and i literally just finished um the house in the cerulean sea um i literally just finished it so i don't want to give my overall thoughts just yet i want to kind of sit with them for a bit um, I also just want to look up um, the kind of the stuff that kind of happened with the author recently. I spoke on it briefly. Um, I just want to look it up a bit more just so that I'm kind of sure about what's happening there, you know. But um, I have finished it though. And that's all I'll say for now. Um, I obviously will have a review of that soon at some point so um i was checking my poll for my last vlog because i asked um would you guys like to see me read the martian or cersei and um cersei is winning just um i don't think even anyone picked the martian i'm not too sure um this one overall which i am actually glad about because i think it's shorter than the martian so hopefully i will actually get it read because it will because you know it's the end of the month like it's the 25th now so um i just i have under a week now and um i will see how i get on with it anyway like i i won't push myself too much because i know i'm not feeling good but at the same time i do want to read like it's not like i don't want to read it or anything like that um so that's what i would be picking up next i also went to the library and picked up some books um, that I thought I would show you. So one of them was one I requested. Hang on now. So this was the one I requested. And this is Beneath the Sugar Sky. So this is the next one in the Where Were Children um, series. Um, it came to me very quick. So um, obviously I read the other one for this month. I don't think I'll get this read like I'd love to read it for this month. It would give me more points for the readathon and everything like that. But I don't know if I'll get it read. It is really short, but it just I I don't want to be rushing it either. So this is Beneath the Sugar Sky, and this is the third book um of the Wayward series by um Shannon Maguire. So I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because I feel like it being the third one, you probably shouldn't know anything. Um, I have kind of been spoiled a bit already because of a person kind of telling us what it was about when they shouldn't have kind of. Um, I had only read the first one at the time and they basically said something in this that I would have rather to have not known and the same thing happened by the same person for House of the Cerulean Sea. So a house of the cerulean sea has all of these kids in it and um, I think that it is so much better if you do not know what those kids are, what they can do, you know, um, they're magical kids basically and that's as much as you should know and yeah it doesn't tell you, I'm just reading the um, the, the synopsis here of it. It just says that there's six magical children that are so dangerous. I was watching a video of a certain YouTuber and they basically told us like what every kid was. I'm pretty sure they didn't have like a spoiler thing come up or anything like that. 
I think they just told us. And I remember being like, oh, I would have rather have not known that. And But I was like, oh, it'll be all right. I'll be reading it at some point anyway. And it's probably not that big of a deal, but it is. You should not know what any of the kids do because it's kind of a main plot of this is the kid. Like, obviously, but um, yeah, you don't want to know. I won't tell you either. I won't be telling you because I feel like it's a big spoiler. Um, I'll have to be careful with that uh, YouTuber in future because yeah, this was spoiled as well. And they didn't like it though. So I felt maybe it was because they didn't like it. That's why they gave something away from it. But again, I, f and I feel like maybe I've done that in the past too where like I didn't like something and I gave away a certain thing that happens in it. But I tried to say like, spoilers you know anyway this um series is basically about kids that go through doors these magical doors and then they come back to like the real world and they can't manage um they can't deal with it and they just want to go back through their doors so there is like different worlds and i think so far we've had a certain type of world and this is going to be a different type of world. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much, but basically, it, yeah. Um, I think that's why the person that the YouTuber I'm talking about didn't like it. Because it was a world that they didn't like. But by the sounds of it, I feel like I will like it. Beneath the sugar sky, sugar sky kind of gives it away. Um... We'll see, we'll see anyway. And then I picked these up. So um, this is Cody. I'm not too sure if I've heard of this before. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I did put this on my want to read at some point. Basically, I saw it and I was like, that's so cute. And then like I looked at the pages and I was like, that artwork is so cute. Um, so it could be just one that I could read like... The last day of the month or something and I can include it in this you know this um, read-a-ton and get a bit more points but also it looks like something that um, I would like because I love my graphic novels and um, I just thought it was super cute so the next one is a very known graphic novel this is the complete mouse so um, I have seen this so much I've been bit like I mean how, when was this out because I feel like I wanted this for years like absolute years like 10 years or more okay yeah these were like made in the 80s <laughs> so it's been around a long time but I basically remember getting into graphic novels years ago and this was being like a main one that everyone should read um so because of that it's just been on, on my list to want to read I I've consider buying it sometimes and I just never got around to it so I'm glad to actually um have it from the library now to see do I actually like it. I feel like I probably will so as you can see it's about the Nazis everything's about the goddamn Nazis but um, I think it's supposed to be very good and um yeah the characters seem to be mice um this is all faded the cover it looks like it was left in the sun, um, but it's a lot more colourful than what this is. The colour is completely gone out of it, but inside the artwork is totally fine. Um, this is the artwork style. It's very um, different to like the likes of Cody here. The art style is very different. I don't know what, like, if there's names for different art styles. Anyway, I feel like this is going to be hard going because... You know, Nazis. Always hard going. Um, but it looks like it could be one I like. So it's the complete the complete mouse. So I think there's like there was different volumes and this is all the volumes together. So um to finally have it, I am excited about reading it. I mean it's probably, um, you know, I'm so anxious and stuff. Maybe I shouldn't read it, but I have it for a while anyway. If I get it read this month, great. If not, I'm totally fine with that. It's just one that I want to read in general, um, not so much for the readathon. So yeah, that was my three that I picked up at the library. Ugh. 
and um, I'm so glad that the library is like open again. Oh, I think some more arrived actually today, um, but I can't remember what they are. It could be the next one because I, as soon as this one was in transit, I asked for the next one. So I think that one might be there. So the newest one, I think I'll request now oh and i said that i really want to buy this series before and um i said that i probably stop um requesting them from the library but i decided to get them all from the library because i think there's like one more to be released i think the author might be releasing one more and then that's it so i was like actually i'd rather not buy them and wait wait until there's like a complete set i can get if that makes sense i just thought that made more sense Anyway, getting them from the library, no problem. They came so so quick. So yeah, Cersei will be my next um, read. Um, for now, I'm just going to relax a bit. I don't feel good. I feel not good. Um, watch some YouTubes and stuff. And once I get into Cersei, I will let you know how it's going, how it is. Um, I know nothing about it, so that's great. I can just go in blind and yeah. clip of it but the wall just right there where I start filming gets higher oh. and you couldn't see it. Oh, it like you're filming that woman over there. Oh poor woman. It looks dull but it's quite warm. And I was in the water. So Here are the seagulls. <laughs> 